One player can lead a charge of a platoon, company, or even a battalion of tanks all by himself. It is possible to create an autonomous platform by combining two simple AIs. The process takes about two minutes. For the purpose of the presentation, I will use the Seder tank, for which you can find a link in the description of this video. So how to set it up? Find a well-protected spot in the vehicle where you can install an antenna, CTC, remote control, and programmable blocks. Assign azimuth and elevation rotors to the custom turret controller. Enable AI. This block will take care of the fire unit on our tank now. Upload the FNS Formation System Leader script into the programmable block. The program is responsible for leading the formation. In the 26th line, add a remote control tag. You can find a link to that script in the description of this video. The formation leader is ready. Now copy that vehicle and paste it nearby. Some tanks from the workshop use skid steering. It needs to be disabled otherwise it may interfere with the follower script. Also make sure that the wheels have steering enabled and gyroscope are not set to override controls. Change the content of the programmable block to formation system, rover, follower. In line 21, add a remote control tag. It's a sub-program responsible for maintaining formation. That's the first drone. Set the drone's position in the formation by running the following command. Set offset, semicolon, and XY set coordinates separated by semicolons where X stands for left and right, Y up and down, Z back and forward. Once the command is ready, press run. The drone will change its position in the formation immediately. Remember to leave some space between vehicles so they won't collide when making sudden turns. You can add as many drones as you want that way. It will be easier if you enter stop command. That way, newly added drones will be entering the formation immediately, and you will have time to set the formation for them. You can record and load multiple formation presets. A formation can be changed remotely from a command vehicle. A second position can be assigned to each of your follower vehicles. It can be useful, for example, when you want to switch from attack to march formation. Enter the following command in leader vehicle programmable block. ID of the drone. In this case, it will be drone 1, because the name of both of our drones is set to such. You can finally change it in the 8th line of the script. Colon. Very important, do not mistake it with semicolon because the command won't work. Save here. Semicolon. The name of the save position. I will call it attack formation, but it can be any other name. And press run. Now this position is saved in the drone's custom data. I will now manually switch to march formation and save it. At this point, it's possible to remotely switch between formations. The command to do that is Drone 1, because that's the name of both of our drones. Colon. Again, do not mistake it for semicolon. Load. Semicolon. The name of our save information, which in this case will be attack formation. And run. This command can be placed on the toolbar to easily switch between formations. Dynamic change of formation looks very effective and is useful during combat or relocation. When setting a formation, remember to leave some space between vehicles. There is a safety buffer that will prevent them from crashing into each other or into the command vehicle. Lowering the maximum speed of the command vehicle or speeding up the drones is a good idea. The faster they go, the easier they'll make up a distance to the leader after changing formation. Sometimes it happens that the drones get stuck. In such cases, try moving left or right. That way the drone will most likely decide which way it wants to go and come back to the formation. A single leader can coordinate the work of numerous independent formations. Multiple drones may be included in a single formation, and thus it's possible to create groups divided into units such as platoons, companies, or even battalions. The fact that I use this solution to create an automated tank platoon doesn't necessarily mean that you need to use it the same way. The presented script can be utilized to create cargo followers, tankers, mobile power farms, and so much more. The sky is the limit. Speaking of the sky, a land leader can also coordinate aerial drones, like this one. 
and use them for recon, strike, or any other task. If you plan to use such a large amount of drones, the tree menu command may be a good solution to organize your unit's controls and get neat graphical information on the LCD.